my name is Jimmy and today we're going to be doing a bit of a walk around on my 1987 Jaguar XJ40 Sovereign. So just a few things about me, I'm 23 years old, I am from New Zealand and I've been working on cars in my backyard since I was about 18. Um, I've had this Jaguar for about two and a half years now. How I found this Jag is I had sold my Mercedes E500 and we were driving home from work one day and it was parked on the side of the road for two grand on the back of a trailer. Phone number on the back, so I call up the guy, offer him a grand and a half and a box of piss. If he would drop it off at my doorstep, and he did. And I've been in love with the car ever since. It's an absolutely amazing underrated car. And I just absolutely love it. Um, so I think first off, we're going to start with all the cosmetics and the exterior of the vehicle. So this is actually a custom paint job, similar to Kingfisher, but a little bit more green in it. Um, the paint's in a bit, paint's in not bad condition, but the clear coat's letting up, and I do have some rust spots, but those will be dealt with in the near future. So probably my favourite thing I've done to this car so far is the wheels. These are Indy 500 centerline three-piece racing wheels. Um, they are absolutely amazing. So nice to drive on. Uh, they're wrapped in Nanking tyres, 245 by 45 by 16, and the actual wheel itself is 9 inches wide. Just an absolute awesome wheel. I've polished them. When I got them, they were in not the best condition. Um, they are 35 years old. Um, so I have did my best to polish them up, and I think they've actually came up pretty good for considering how old the actual wheel is. Um, and I feel like they just complement this car so much. They, they fit the, the styling, the era, um, and then they also match all the nice stainless on the car. So I just feel like it ties in really nice, and it gives it a quite a, a unique look a lot of people are running the bigger wheels and tire setups on the xj40s but i thought i'd go a bit more old school uh but still keeping that low profile and slightly stretched tires so it's kind of best of both worlds i mentioned before it is a sovereign but uh the very first thing i did is swap out the fish tail the fish tank headlights for the quad headlights um i was actually running halos for a while but i've gone back to the traditional uh, retro styling the license plate you see as well is the original import license plate so never got swapped over uh, you can't sell it you can't do nothing with it but it's just pretty cool um, to have the original license plate all right so we go to the back end of this car i've got a three inch duckbill spoiler on the boot that's from spoiler king um, I absolutely love it. Just make, I feel like it makes the car just look a lot more sporty. I'm running these awesome blinds, um, that I got made in Poland. Um, I'll link the guy's stuff, check him out, he does amazing work. Running a, a quad exhaust system at the back. So, it's fairly simple, rear mufflers removed swapped in with Kobe's 20 inch pack glass packs um a two and a half inch pipe uh, and because it's the 87 model it's also running uh no uh Cadillac converter in the downpipe so she's a bit frisky another little detail that I like is my uh wing mirror visors um this is from a uh, guy on instagram i'll link it in uh, his company is i love you always uh, awesome design sturdy airs and they keep the water off your wing mirror when you're driving so but for the main reason they look they look really cool so suspension wise um it's running cobra springs 35 mils lower than stock um it's also running monroe shocks in the rear kyb shocks in the front um, all new bushings. Since the car was sitting so long, I've done my best to replace all your typical stuff. So all brand new brake rotors, 
caliper pistons, brake pads, brake lines, uh, any bushings like I said before, uh, champion spark plugs, NGK leads, uh, your typical stuff like fuel filters, oil filters, you know. The biggest thing mechanically I've had to do on it was swapping out the hydraulic brake system into a vacuum brake system from a uh, Series 3 XJ6. Uh, the hydraulic systems on these cars, uh, they're, they're going to leak. They always will leak. They always have leaked. Um, it's a high pressure system, so even if you find a leak and fix it, it's probably going to have another leak very soon. So uh, it's a very easy job to do, very cheap, only cost a few hundred dollars. Um, and now I've got very good brakes that are easy to maintain and I'm not having to worry about leaking all over uh, the concrete. Other than that, not much else is done mechanically. Um, it's got a cold air intake. Uh, that's about it. I have a, a supposedly an XJ uh, or an X AJ6 engineering inlet manifold to be paired with the cold air intake. Um, I can't confirm that it actually is an AJ, AJ6 engineering product. Um, it came off a junkyard XJR, 1987 XJR here in New Zealand. So just been doing that up, so that's yet to go on. Uh, be interesting if it will give any performance gains, but even if it doesn't, it's going to look very cool in the engine bay. It also has an enlarged throttle body. All right, so we'll jump into the interior. Um, so what I've done in here, I've done a full black on black conversion. It used to be bright blue. Everything, it was horrible. I absolutely hated it. Um, so now black seats, black trim. Um, I think it looks awesome. Still a bit more to go and it's a bit filthy at the moment, but you can see my vision, what I'm going for. Um, also have a boss kit with a steering wheel that I haven't um, <laughs> made a centerpiece yet for so you can just see the nut staring right at you um, the car's at 151,000 k's I believe I've put about three to 4,000 on it not much more in the two and a half years that I've had it um, the interior is in decent condition. I'm missing a few trim pieces and bits and bobs. Um, have these seatbelt cushions from Incomplete, uh, an XJ6 dash mat. Um, yeah, the wood, the clear coat on the wood starting to fail, so that's uh, definitely on my list of things that I need to redo. So yeah, that's my Jaguar XJ40. I believe I've covered everything off the top of my head. Um, if you've got any questions or if I've missed anything, just leave a comment asking. Um, the big things coming for this car at the moment is it's getting a full respray. So I'm just about to start prepping it and get it for a full respray. I'm staying with the same colour. I absolutely love it. I've got the paint mixed up, so I'm good to go on that end. Um, and then just your little bits and pieces that I always need doing. And then, of course, the new um, intake manifold system that I'll be doing up. So, so for the people that are interested um, for what's happening in this channel's future, I'm going to try to be doing some tutorials on how to work on this car. Since I do 99% of the work myself, I'm starting to get quite used to these cars and how to work on them. So tutorials will be coming, uh, especially if people can comment and ask for stuff, then I can make a video on it. That's easy. And probably just your typical edits and other stuff. Um, I kind of, I'm just doing this for fun as a side hobby on the weekends. Um, so whatever recommendations you guys have, I'll always be open to trying it out. Other than that, like and subscribe. And that was my XJ40. Have a good one.